important people. But I want you to know this. I had this flag flown over the Capitol because I want the United States of America to respect George Floyd. That's why this flag was flown. I want the United States of America to show him the respect that he richly earned simply because he was born in this country, because he's a human being, and because he is not expendable. That's why this flag was flown. But we are going to make sure that those who look through time, that they will know that he made a difference within his time because he changed not only this country, not only the United States, he changed the world. George Floyd changed the world. And we're going to make the world know that he made a difference. Dear brothers and sisters. And so my friends, I don't know if I'll ever get eight minutes and 46 seconds, Reverend Sharpton, out of my DNA. I don't know if I'll ever be able to overcome the words, I can't breathe. Eric Garner's mother and Trayvon Martin's mother and all the mothers and Robbie <laughs> Tolan. I can't breathe. But what I will say that the assignment of George Floyd and the purpose will mean there will be no more eight minutes and 46 seconds of police brutality. There will be no more eight minutes and 46 seconds of injustice and the mistreatment of African American men at the hands of the laws of this nation and any anyone else. There will be no more eight minutes and 46 seconds that you will be in pain without getting justice. His assignment turned into a purpose. And that purpose was around the world that there are people rising up that will never sit down until you get justice. We honor him, Reverend Sharpton, not because he was perfect, but we honor him today because when he took his last breath, the rest of us will now be able to breathe. So therefore I, Sylvester Turner, mayor of the city of Houston, hereby proudly proclaim January, June 9, 2020, as George Perry Day in the city of Houston. To God be the glory for the good he has done.